dude! This is Ichiro Oda, the creator of One Piece. Just kidding! <laughs> you really thought for a second, didn't you? It was a goof. It was a joke. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we like to play around here. This is actually a picture of a man named Eiji Aonuma, who was a director and lead designer on all the good classic Legend of Zeldas. Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess. I never got past the fishing minigame. I think my emulator was set to Wii and I was playing on one of these things. So yeah, this guy's kind of a big shot. A.G. Aonuma. He designed the sprites for NES Open Tournament Golf, for Christ's sake. And that's all cool and stuff. But then why is it that when I'm curious about what Oda looks like and I search Oda on Google, this man, this A.G. Aonuma guy, his face pops up. And when you look at these older photos of Oda, if that even is him, and you compare them to each other, they kind of look similar. I'm not gonna lie. They kind of look the same. Try to tell me this man doesn't look like an aged version of Oda. Like, come on. Since these older photos were taken, he's gotten glasses, some more facial hair, still has that middle part, but it's a little bit more groomed now. The hair is turning gray like all beautiful aging men. They're literally doppelgangers, at least from this angle, or maybe... <sighs> I'm just stupid. I don't, I don't know. School was hard for me. I, I never really felt like I fit in. I just never gained anything other than learning how to read, write, and math, and those thin, really thinly sliced cuts of pizza. It was torture. I would sit in that back rightmost seat and stare out the window, pondering the complexities of my balls until one day a book fell from the sky. And the book was the cover for Diary of a Wimpy Kid in Japanese. Yeah, just the cover, but isn't that a cool ass cover to a book? Here's the one with the snowman. But I don't think I am dumb because one, I got this picture from Google, the most reputable source on the planet. But not only that, I'm also not the only one who's been fooled here. Here's some random news articles where they put my boy AG next to the One Piece logo, next to Luffy and all the straw hats. Here's a Nuxtaku video of him using this picture in reference to Oda. Author of One Piece, Ichiro Oda admits the key to his success was staying out of school and doing drugs. This man is a legend. Why? Because of this. Let's face it, this is a popular image of Oda on the internet, and it is even him! I even used the picture in one of my videos in the past, and the only reason I know it isn't Oda is because someone corrected me in the comments. You do know that's not Echiro Oda, right? Now it is. And you know what? I think my comment has some truth to it. The photo is already spread across the internet with Oda's name attached to it. So why not? This is Ichiro Oda. The man in this photo is Oda, the creator of One Piece. It might have not been originally, but the internet has deemed it otherwise. In the same way that it's GIF, not JIF, this photo is not Aonuma, it is Oda, the creator of One Piece, ladies and gentlemen. I've also decided that from here on out, I will be using this photo to talk about Oda no matter what. Whether it's One Piece related or not, I will be using this picture in reference to the creator of One Piece. That's right, I'm double tripling and quadrupling down for two reasons one i like creating chaos this is my joker moment two because fuck you abby you embarrass me in front of everybody do you know what it feels like to wake up and see this comment i felt like such a dumbass i was having a good life before this you know even though this happened like eight months ago it still intrusively pops up in my head and the worst part is i can't even ratio you on my own channel i was trying to come up with the response for like 20 minutes and this is the best i could come up with i even edited it you know how embarrassing that is to edit a comment and then have it say edited next to it that completely takes away all validity of your comeback and you're just fucking sitting there up on your high horse so badass that you don't even care that you spelled oda's name wrong etchiro god <sighs> listen i'm not upset i'm just a lot of things have been happening recently. They took the Roblox sound out of Roblox. Netflix won't let me watch Crayon Shin-Chan anymore with the VPN. And I bought a game called Dinkum for $20. It's actually pretty good, but it's also a video game called Dinkum. So I don't really know how to feel anymore, to be honest. But that wasn't the topic of the video. It was originally about Oda and how we don't really know what the hell he looks like nowadays. And that's really just a Japanese privacy thing. They're kind of goaded at that over there. Somehow they figured out a way to do everything without ever revealing their faces. That's why VTubers exist. 
The closest thing that we do have to Oda is the little fish character he always uses, and of course this picture, but regardless of those, I think that the actual closest thing we have is his life's work, aka One Piece. It's his expression, his art form, and that's how he chooses to give a piece of himself to the world. It's not about how he looks or if he's holding up gang signs, it's about his work, the thing that defines him, the thing that he does every day that he puts his blood, sweat, and tears into. That's what it's really about. Anyways, I'm gonna go finish the fishing mini game in Twilight Princess. You go and like the video, follow me on Twitter, and maybe we'll chat again. Hold on, wait, wait a second. Tight Kubo?